Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rianne, and today I'm going to talk about Possum, which I found streaming on Amazon Prime Video. I was first made aware of this movie from TikTok because it's definitely got some disturbing imagery, and I forget who the creator was that was talking about it, but was kind of like, you need to watch this movie if you want to be freaked out. I was ready to be freaked out. So the film starts out with Philip, who was a puppeteer for a children's show, I believe, and he's just traveling around with this really creepy looking puppet in his bag, which he had created this whole story for. There's like a nursery rhyme for it. It's really weird looking. Please look up what the puppet looks like. It's got these spindly spider legs and a really human looking face, but it's just really off. And it's just, ugh, it's real creepy looking. I hate it. I'm not like the biggest fan of puppets. I love Muppets. That's different. The Labyrinth, totally different. The Dark Crystal, there's a lot of creepy shit in there. But besides the point, uh, Philip decides to go back to his childhood home where his uncle Maurice still lives. And there's a specific room that Philip just will not go into. He comes very close to opening the door going inside. But it just seems as though he's not mentally prepared himself to deal with what's in there. There is another story going on at the same time that there's a disappearance of a child within this village that the police are very, very focused on Philip or specifically focused just on the house. We're not quite sure trying to figure out where the kid went. You know, are they linked to it? Could it be the uncle? Who knows? So... There's just, there's a lot of that weird, you're not quite sure if it's a daydream or if it's actually reality. Philip keeps going to a specific part in the woods and is he leaving Possum there? Maybe, but then he keeps waking and it's in bed with him. Is it actually, you know, a real creature? Is his uncle just really messing with him? Because we get this vibe that there's just something weird between them. Uh, there's a part in the film where Maurice acknowledges that Philip had a lot of childhood trauma. And you get to see sort of a softer side of him. But then you're also wondering, is he faking that just to try to get him to let his guard down? Or what's happening? And the house is disgusting. Maurice does not keep... Anything very tidy while Philip wasn't there, or even while he is there, it's just kind of gross. The whole film just leaves you feeling kind of grimy. It has that just gritty, nasty, gray-toned feel to it the whole time, which is nice. It's, you know, obviously it's a very atmospheric thing. It's building up a lot of tension within the viewer and giving you a lot of anxiety, which Philip is just pouring out of him the entire movie. There's, I don't know, maybe I need to watch it again, but I just don't have that much time to devote to watching a film again that was this long. I don't even know if it was as long as it felt because the, I'll, I'll just go into my likes and dislikes before I talk about that. But that's, that's essentially the film. We're trying to figure out what's real, what's fake, what's a daydream, what's actually happening to the village, and what's actually happening with this dynamic between the puppet, between Philip, between Maurice, between Philip's parents, even. Like, we're trying to figure out all sorts of stuff. What did I like about this film? The, the puppet itself, Possum incredibly creepy, as I said. I really, really liked the design of the creature. It looked so neat. I don't even know if I can call it a creature because it is a puppet, but the way that they would shoot it, there were some scenes that it was like kind of looking around corners or doing that little like creepy like, hey girl, like down the hallway. Very effective. I liked that a whole lot. I liked the tonality of all the, the shots outside really did match all the shots inside. It wasn't very well lit. It was that dingy, like just someone poured water on a graphite drawing kind of feel. And I thought that was neat that they kept everything consistent. I really liked that. I felt like the 
the shots themselves, even though they were so gross and anxiety inducing, were actually pretty beautiful. I thought they did a really great job with that. I felt that the actor that portrayed Philip did a very effective job conveying all of the feelings he had inside outward without making it look clumsy or forced. And it really does come through the film and you do feel very unsettled watching it. Ugh, just, just real creepy. What did I dislike about this film? It, as I said, there's a lot of parts where you're not sure if it's the reality in the movie or if it's a daydream within the movie because it's kind of, they, they flip between the two so much. It took me out of it a little bit. I felt like the pacing was a huge issue and that it was just repeated shots of Philip like running around with the puppet in a bag, just trying to find places to dump it, just retrieving it, coming back, then leaving again, going to dump it. And this felt to me like it was most of the film, which got a little bit old. I'm not going to lie. I was getting kind of bored. Like, well, is, is there going to be like a chase scene? Is there going to be some weird discovery? Is there going to be him going, well, oh, this was all just a dream and I'm locked somewhere. Like I needed something. And I felt as though the way the movie ended, the resolution just wasn't it for me. I, I get that it was a large buildup, but the end product just didn't satisfy what I was looking for. And I felt they could have done so much more with the film. Maybe if they had incorporated more characters, I don't know, but it just seemed very repetitive to me. And after a while, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, and I don't want to keep watching this movie. Like, just get to something. But for, for all that I said that I disliked, I didn't feel like it was a complete waste of time watching the movie because there were certain scenes that I felt really paid off and I was creeped out. It wasn't a movie that as it's touted, you know, makes me stay awake at night or anything like that. I feel like it's more of like a psychological thriller, perhaps, than a horror movie, like a stereotypical horror movie, you would think. But it, it is what it is. I don't feel like it was a waste of time watching the film because I did enjoy a lot of aspects of it. I would probably rate it like a two out of five. There's a lot in the movie I would have cut out it could have been a great short film, perhaps. We didn't need all of that repetitive stuff happening within the scenes, and I would have been fine with that. I like short films. Maybe throw it in an anthology. Who doesn't love an anthology? I love an anthology. Uh, as I said, I found it streaming on Amazon Prime. I'm sure it's available on other platforms at this point. Probably physical copy as well. This is a 2018 film. Um, yeah, that that's... That's possum. All I can think about were the cute little critters that just carry their babies around. Who doesn't love possums? They don't get, uh, I don't think they get rabies. They eat ticks, so they, they help stop the spread of Lyme disease. So what's, what's not to love there? Anyways, if you has, haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. If you're on TikTok and you find a movie or someone talking about a movie that you think I'd like, please DM it to me because I would love that. I'm literally like, that's the one app I'm consistently on um, an embarrassing amount of hours during the day. I would love it. You can find my solo reviews as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And uh, I'm going to go play possum. See you guys later. Bye.